newest Red Star Belgrade signing, Igor Prutsev from uh, Sochi in the, the Russian side, uh, who Partizan Belgrade actually played uh, last season in, I believe it was Europa League qualifying or Conference League, I can't remember right now. They played him uh, last season, so he's 19, year 19 years old. Uh, he spent time last season alone at two different uh, Tier 2 sides, um, so the second division, Russian second division, uh, where he played 38 matches and he scored five goals and he had four assists, which is, I guess, decent showing for, at that time, 18, 19 year old. Um, he was wanted by CSK Moscow, uh, but he decided to join Red Star. Um, he can play all over the pitch. Uh, just looking at some of his uh, uh, stats and the positions that he played last season, anything from center forward to right wing, right midfield, left wing, left midfield, attacking midfielders, uh, central midfielder, like all the attacking positions he can pretty much uh, cover for a team. And, uh, you know, I think it was the right wing that he played the most last season. Um, all the other positions is kind of like one match or two matches where he featured in those positions. but. Uh, that just kind of shows versatility. So pretty much any attacking position he can kind of cover for you. Uh, so we'll see what, you know, we end up doing with him and where he ends up playing. But that's just kind of the gist of it. He can kind of play all over the place. Um, it's kind of difficult to evaluate his play since it's um, like a lower tier level. So the same thing that with Motika last season, very difficult to evaluate a kid who played pretty much in the fourth rank of German football where he... I don't want to say he dominated, but he did very, very well. And now you're moving up to, you know, top tier of Serbian football and you're going to Champions League qualifying, like Europa League qualifying, the Derby and all this stuff. So it's very difficult to evaluate the two things, but um, he has he has flair to his game. So kind of like what um, Bukhari provides us with, kind of what um, Kangwa provides us with. Uh, very light on his feet so to say he can get past defenders very quickly he uses his speed to um to its almost maximum ability uh good with the ball at his feet in tight places so whether there's two or three defenders around him he's very light on his feet he can kind of get by everyone with with one move or two which is very good uh when you consider you know that he could feature a lot in like the, the penalty area where he's you know, kind of maneuvering past guys and, you know, one mistake leads uh, to a penalty. Um, so I think that's very important for him. Again, this is at a much lower level than what he's going to see in like the Champions League qualifying and in Champions League and Europa League, whatever the case may be. And even in, even in our domestic league, uh, I think it's, it's, it's a notch above. So uh, we'll see how well he adjusts to that and how well he does there. But uh, just basically from this from the things that you can you can see he's uh, he's a gifted he's gifted with the ball at his feet um, the only thing I would say is he's kind of light uh, he's very easy to kind of push off the ball he's got a little bit of a thin frame so anytime that you know a defender who's a little bit bigger built it can really push him off the ball and then take possession off him I think that's something that he's gonna work on and I think that was kind of the issue when Montica came to the club as well He's very good, you know, flair and all this other stuff, but he's very easy uh, to kind of bump off the ball and for defenders um, to get the ball off him easily. Um, good first touch that allows him to get by defenders. So, you know, someone sends the ball and he just kind of plays it to himself or to get past defenders. He's very good at that. Um, again, when you go to Champions League qualifying and Champions League and Europa League and all this other stuff, you're going to play against defenders who are much, much better than what he saw at the uh, Russian second tier. So all of this stuff, you know, he's going to kind of have to redo and kind of rethink. Um, but yeah, from the from the first glances, from, you know, the highlights from the highlights that I've seen uh, and depends what you take out of that. But, you know, going off that, he's a kid who has some serious potential. Like I said, CSK Moscow wanted him and he ended up coming to uh, Red Star Belgrade instead. Uh, what happens with him this season, I think is going to be interesting. I think it's going to be interesting to see what happens with Motika and uh, Mustafa as well. I would like to see, I don't think that Prutsev is going to get much playing time with Red Star, with Stefan Mitrovic kind of emerging um, now, and, and Kata and Ivanic there, and obviously Bukhari. So I'd like to see him on loan at a um, top tier club in in Serbia. I don't, I don't, want to see my Grafi Chada again that's tier two that's 
kind of like where he was last season uh, in Russia. I don't want to see him there. I want to see him get uh, consistent playing time for for a uh, top tier club and you know to kind of see where he's at and maybe evaluate that come uh, January, whether it's a short loan or if it's a season long loan, which I think is more likely. Um, and then kind of see where we are next summer. Although I guess he could very well go to Grafiechad until you know January, and then January he goes to a uh, top tier club uh, on loan again. But I would I would prefer to see him at a top tier club. Um, that's just my thinking of it. Montica as well hasn't played much at all. I could see him getting loaned out. Uh, Mustafa as well. We'll see what happens with him. I think there's a lot of young players now that you know can kind of go on loan. Um, we don't really count on young players much apart from Herakovic. Uh, Stankovic is getting minutes late lately, but we usually don't in this five, six year run. We haven't really brought up many young players from the academy. Uh, so I think it would kind of make sense to loan him out. Lucic is already at Chukadichki for the rest of the season. Um, and he's going to get consistent playing time there. And then again, evaluate with him. You know, we'll see where he is at the end of the season. But again, uh, Igor Prutsev, another signing, 19 years old. Um, a lot of potential. We'll see what happens with him. Again, kind of difficult to evaluate where he's at in, in the second tier of um, of Russian football. But there's you know a lot of young players now. Uh, the Red Star has that they're going to either have to loan out or or, or maybe even sell um, just because there's a lot of veteran players who have come along and and um, and they're getting all the playing time. So very interesting to see what happens with uh, Igor Prutsa for the rest of the season.